One way you can always examine the illegitimacy of a movement is to be especially attentive to if it is equally fair to its rivals or is it completely committed to its own agenda without concern for opposing ideas. If it's laser focused on its own perspective and, and literally ignores or unwilling to adjust when exposed for its intolerance, then you've got a perfect example of an ideology who claims to be driven by fairness but is fundamentally unfair. Let me give you another example of this technique in the extreme women's movement. Abortion. All right. There are women who actually believe and argue that if you are a man, you don't even get to have an opinion on abortion because you don't have a womb. Forget for the moment that no woman has ever gotten pregnant without a man. Well, I accept Mary, but that proves my point. <laughs> if a woman can get pregnant without a man, God literally has to intervene. And every baby in human history has been exactly half of a man's DNA. But if only a woman having a uterus is an excuse to claim that when it comes to abortion, those without one cannot have an opinion, then why would it not also be true for men and their unique biology? I mean, we're designed with much higher doses of testosterone and programmed to be sexually stimulated by the sight of a woman's body, whereas women are not. I'm not, I'm not saying women can't be sexually attracted to a man through sight, but not nearly as intensely as a man. Unlike a woman, a man can be interested and physically able to have sex with a woman he doesn't even know that he just noticed three seconds prior. Thus, when we're desiring you with simply a glance, you have no right to comment on that or to lust shame us. Since you're not a man, thus you can't understand our plight. But because the West was built on the Judeo-Christian concept that the sexual union is actually holy, then it's reserved for a man and a woman that promise their fidelity to each other for the rest of their life. You think having sex, sex with as many people as possible is fulfilling and makes you something to be proud of? I don't know. How'd that work out for Jeffrey Epstein? <laughs>